Nobody wins when the family feels but my staff. Jesse got him some shots. <laughs> I gotta make sure, we gotta make sure I edit, gotta make sure I edit it proper. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta make sure, we gotta make sure I edit it proper right now. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? and I'm with, and I'm with this beautiful, lovely young lady here. Say hey to the camera, man. Oh yeah, you can say hey to the camera. You so beautiful, you gonna say hey? Uh huh? Uh huh? Oh, they just break up. Back in the fucking car. And I turn your music. Fuck me, man. I'd rather blow a bag. Hey, yo. This nigga crazy out here. Hey, yo. No. Nigga crazy out here. Hey, yo. Nigga, that nigga, that nigga Jesse be going crazy out here. Nigga Jesse be going. Don't get away, Erica Phillips, with what you did. My sister stayed in that house almost two years helping you with your children so you wouldn't lose them. She stayed in that house almost two years raising your care for you, raise your kids because you couldn't get off the powder and the drugs long enough so that you could do what you got to do as a mom. My sister stayed there and helped you. And you repaid her by murdering her son. Family, if you're new to the channel, I'm gonna just say this out the gate. We don't do no judging over here. Under no way, shape, or form. Unless you're messing with kids or women, we strictly delivering the news while being non-biased. Now, let me say this. That don't mean I don't have my opinion on what's right and what's wrong. But I'd rather leave that to you guys. Now, I felt that disclosure was important for this video. Because today, we talk about something that rarely get talked about until it's a problem like today. Toxic relationships putting your hands on one another in the relationship for some people that turn you on or that excite you I'm just not one but i'm not here to judge neither now today we see how that can backfire on a man who lost his life by his girlfriend and here's the thing even though she accepted this and partaked in that type of relationship throughout the years she's now claiming self-defense is she right is she wrong i don't know i'm gonna leave that to you guys while presenting the facts today we go to hampton and discuss as I just mentioned a man who loses his life by the hands of his girlfriend shot a number of times but it's been some things that's been public since that incident that's drawn some eyebrows to the public which we'll later discuss like the aunt of the deceased who came out and shared some things after the suspect who's now free as we speak make a mockery at the crime scene the day this man loses his life as you can see we got a relationship thing going on in this video that turned deadly so without wasting too much time on this intro remember i don't give you no angle i just give you the story so with that being said make sure you like comment and subscribe we're gonna jump right to it family today we're going to hampton virginia hampton is a fine small city in the hampton rose region it has its areas with crime and areas that are nice quiet and upscale overall hampton is a typical american suburban area that's highly recommended but today we got an unfortunate story coming out of hampton virginia some would say a love story gone wrong these love birds was identified as 38 year old Derek a lindsey of hampton virginia and his girlfriend for many years erica phillips now according to their own social media account they've been in a relationship for some years and they're very toxic you can tell by how they talk to each other i'll later play some examples but also you can tell by how they carry themselves in front of the public even while on live check it out like the drinks over all that all that goofy shit you ready She spilled her shot. I spilled my shot. This nigga broke a glass. Ah, bartender spilled some shit over. And I'm with, and I'm with this beautiful, lovely young lady here. Say hey to the camera, man. Oh yeah, you can say hey to the camera. You so beautiful, you gonna say hey? Uh. Uh. Oh, they just oh, break they up all types of shit in here. Day. Yo, they just fuck it up all the time. Back in the car. Can I turn your head? I'd rather blow a bag. But things took a turn late night, early morning hours, May 19th. 
coming in on May 20th, 2024. Monday morning, still pitch black outside at around 12.30 a.m. Police get a call to the 300 block of Catalpa Avenue. When they arrived, officers found 38-year-old Derek A. Lindsay of Hampton with multiple gunshot wounds. He was pronounced deceased at the scene. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. It's underway in Hampton. Hampton police say someone shot and killed a 38-year-old man in broad daylight. Brenda McIntosh is live at the scene with what we know so far. Brenda. Well, Stephanie, Hampton police have blocked off Catalpa Avenue for hours as they continue to investigate. This is still very much so an active scene. Right now, we're off of Kikatan Road. This is where Hampton police say officers responded for a report of a shooting just before 1230 this afternoon. When officers arrived, they found a 38-year-old man lying in the road with multiple gunshot wounds. Medics pronounced him dead at the scene. Now police say they need the public's help in identifying the suspect or suspects who pulled the trigger. One neighbor who wished to remain anonymous says he feels uneasy knowing those responsible are not yet in police custody. Uh, I'm still nervous. I'm trying to figure out what's going on and what's going to happen after all the police leave. And afraid that the people might come back that did this. Now, no one was arrested, and as you can see by the news clip, they didn't identify who the suspect was. But people on social media identified Derek right away. As you can see, giving him a lot of love and respect, he also got a lot of disrespect by the woman who pulled the trigger. Apparently, she went to the scene and actually made a mockery of him losing his life. And she also went live and made some posts even going behind a fake page while the aunt had responded to all the disrespect her family was receiving about a day later. Check it out. Good morning. I just want to do this because I have to, I have to, I have to. I'm looking at all these posters coming out, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just tripping right now off of, off of all of this. You murdered my nephew. You murdered him. You set him up and you murdered him. You, you murdered him. Execution style, all them shots you gave to my nephew, you murdered him. You, I don't care what your friends say. I don't care what nobody else say. Yeah, y'all fought with one another. You fought with one another, but you liked it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it while we're putting it out there, while we're trying to carry everything. Let's talk about it. Yeah, everybody know Derek was a mother. Derek got in trouble. Everybody know that Derek, how Derek was. But that didn't stop you from wanting to lay with him. That didn't stop you from wanting to run up on him whenever he wasn't with you. That didn't stop you from harassing my sister by calling her on her phone, begging him to come see you. So you want to spend this domestic violence thing, right? You want to spend this narcissistic relationship and all of this kind of stuff. But you was just as narcissistic. You was just as involved. You was deep involved. Every time he left you, you called him. When he didn't come around, you stalked him. You followed him. You harassed the woman that he loved, Bree. Bree. He loved Bree. He loved her. He told me he loved her. He wanted a new life. And he came to you. He, the only reason why he dealt with you is because my sister was with you, helping you take care of your children that social services was going to take away from you. And if it weren't for my sister being there helping you with social services, you would have lost your children. But how did you repay my sister? You repaid my sister by murdering her son. That's how you repaid my sister. You repaid my sister for all the help she did for that year. She stayed with you and a half. She stayed with you, taking care of your children, looking after your kids so you could keep them. You helped her by murdering her son. You called him repeatedly. I was there when you called my sister begging for him to come see you. Stop playing. Stop pretending. You was just as narcissistic. You was just as toxic. You enjoyed every bit of it. Stop spinning the victim role because you're not a victim. You're not a victim. You set him up. You murdered him. You killed him. And now you're trying to come across like an innocent angel. You got an old black eye because of why? Why? Because you ran up on him. You ran up on him fighting him. Y'all with this. 
when you got women out here running up on men, putting their hands on men, putting their hands on them, punching them and fighting them and hitting them all in the face and stuff. And you thinking you just going to walk off after you hit a man all up in his face. That's what you think you're going to do. You murdered him. You murdered him. And tell the truth about it. And you're going to go to jail. You're not getting away with it. You're calling my sister on the phone. You're making threats. You're threatening my sister's life. All of this stuff. Yeah. But you innocent, right? You innocent. You would threaten my sister after our staying in your house a year and a half taking care of you and your children. You would threaten her. You threaten my sister after a year and a half of living in your house, looking after your children. Derek loved Bree. He loved her. He wanted to marry her. He wanted to be with her. You wouldn't leave him alone. You kept calling. You kept chasing. You kept stalking. Cut it out. You were both toxic. So stop spinning the victim role because you want a victim. You are not a victim in all of this. You know who the victim in this? Derek's children is the victim in this. You know who the victim in this? His mother is the victim in this. You know who the victim in this? His family because you took him away. You could have simply left him alone. Y'all kill me like you don't have a choice. Oh, if I love him, you could have left him alone. You did not have to keep going to him. You did not have to keep calling him. You did not have to keep seeing him. You could have let him be free. You could have let him be with Bree. You could have let him be happy. He wanted a different life. He wanted something different, and I was proud of my nephew. I was proud of him. He was leaving that lifestyle. He left it, and you punked him. You called him a punk. You talked crap to him because he wanted to leave that lifestyle. You talked crap to him because he didn't want it no more. You trying to sit around here and pretend like you a victim. You murdered him. You set him up, and you murdered my nephew. You murdered him, and now you threatened his mom. You threatened my sister's life. For what? For what? You're not innocent. You're spending this thinking, oh, she's such a victim. We saw him fight her. Yeah, and you saw her hit him too. You saw her run up on him, punching him in his face. You saw her ripping on his clothes and starting trouble with him. You saw her. You saw her. You saw how toxic they both were. And when he decided he didn't want the toxicity anymore, when he decided he didn't want it anymore, you decided that you was going to go kill him. What did you tell her? What did you say to Bree out there? Yeah, now ain't nobody got him. Yeah, now he dead. Nobody got him. That's what you said. You was bragging on live about what you done. But you going to get it. You understand? You're going to get it. You're not going to get away with what you did. You're not going to get away with what you did to my nephew. You're not. You're not going to get away with it. You murdered him. Murdered him. And now you're running around here trying to act like you're a victim, but you're not. You've been told people that you was going to kill him. You've been said that you was going to murder him. You've been told everybody, you even told your son. Your son even said out of his own mouth. My mama said, my uncle, you had your kids run to the back. You set it up. They ran to the You took his life and then you threatened his mother. Really? You took her son's life. You were on her phone threatening to take her life. But you innocent though. You innocent. My, mom, my sister is grieving the loss of her son. And you on the phone calling her threatening to take her life. You're not going to get away, Erica Phillips. You're not going to get away, Erica Phillips, with what you did. My sister stayed in that house almost two years helping you with your children so you wouldn't lose them she stayed in that house almost two years raising your care for you raise your kids because you couldn't get off the powder and the drugs long enough so that you could do what you got to do as a mom my sister stayed there and helped you and you repaid her by murdering her son so let's stop it with the games all them times you shot him all them times you murdered him, Erica. Well, I don't want to see your post, your post where you're trying to play victim. You're not a victim, Erica. You're not a victim. You're a murderer. And you're going to jail. You're a murderer. You're going to get what's coming to you because you're a murderer. And you stop calling my sister.
Stop threatening my sister's life. And we're gonna let them know that too. Cause we got all of that. You calling my sister on the phone, threatening to kill her after you murdered her son. You leave my sister alone. She's grieving enough without you calling her. Stop calling my family. My family don't wanna hear from you. We never wanted him to deal with you. We never wanted him to mess with you. We never wanted it. We knew what you was we saw you out there we see you in them streets stop trying to act like you an angel because you ain't no angel you murdered him you set him up and you murdered him and you times it ain't no domestic violence thing stop trying to spin it like that it's all oh, oh, it was just domestic violence look at my eye look at my eye did you tell him about how you hit him how you put your hands on him how you attacked him no you didn't because you're not gonna never tell the truth about what you do you gonna sit up here and try to play like you're an innocent victim. You murdered him, you're a killer, you murdered him. You set him up and you murdered him. You murdered him. And you threatened my sister. I don't care nothing about what you write. You don't scare me, I don't care nothing about what you're going to jail, Erica Phillips. You murdered him, you killed him, you murdered him and you bragged about it. You bragged about what you've done. You won't know the message about you killed him, you are a murderer and you're going to die. He is my business. He is my business because he was my family. You didn't love him. You didn't care nothing for him. Only thing you wanted was some more candy for your nose. All you wanted was some more drugs for your body. You didn't care nothing about him. You killed him. And now you threatening my sister's life. But they know. The police know. They know. They know what you're doing. You think you're going to get away, don't you? You think you're going to get away. You think you want to get away. You set him up and you killed him. You set him up. 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 I don't wanna hear that. I don't care. You knew what you was gonna do. You've been telling people. You've been telling people you was gonna kill him. You've been told, you told my sister, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill him. You told her that. You told my sister that. You've been promised to kill him. And that's what you said you're gonna do. And that's what you did. You're going down. I don't care nothing about your little words up here on my thing. You murdered my nephew. You set him up and you murdered him. And now you want to spin some little story to everybody. Yeah, you liked it. You like every punch you got. You like every slap you got. You know why? Because you like that kind of stuff. See, some women like getting beat on. Some women like getting hit on. Some women like getting touched on like that. You loved it. You chased them for it. You begged them for it. Every time he left you, who went out there looking for him? You did. Begging for him. Calling my sister on the phone. Dad, don't come see me. Dad, don't want to be by me. Yo, fuck your son had your funny. Stop playing. You're not a victim. You're not a victim. You're not a victim. You murdered him. You murdered my nephew, you set him up, you murdered him. You know exactly what you plan on doing. That's why you told them kids to do what you told them to do, run to the back. That's why you told them to do that. You set him up, you murdered him, you killed him. And you, they told it, they told it. So you ain't getting away. You're not gonna get away, Erica Phillips, for what you did. You murdered my nephew, you killed him. And you bragging about it like it's a joke. Now you want to sit around and talk about domestic violence and toxic relationships and all of this. Girl, shut up. Shut up, because ain't nobody more toxic than you. Shut up. Mind my business. Mind your kids. How you left your boy there. How you left your baby there with his body while you ran off and took your brother to hide him. How you left that baby with that man while you left him there with my nephew's body. How you did your children. What? Oh, God. Please don't stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let's stop it. Let's stop it with the games, okay? Can we? Let's stop it with the games. You left that baby there with that boy. Left my nephew in the street like a dog. You murdered him and left him laying in the street like a dog while you took his car to go take your people somewhere. You are a murderer. And you're going down, Erica Phillips. You're going down for what you did. You murdered Derek in the street like he was a dog. You shot him all them times. Y'all murdered my boy. And you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. You're a murderer. You want to sit up here and talk all this mess. Talking about toxic relationships. Girl, eat your own words. Eat your own words. How you going to give somebody advice? You can't give nobody no advice. You are about as toxic as they come. And any nigga messing with you, they better read the warning signs. Because you ain't no girl. You funny. You funny with that. You think you got away with it, but you didn't. You didn't get away with it. You didn't win it. You didn't get away with it. You set him up. You had your brother there waiting on him. You knew exactly what 
what you was doing. You knew what you was doing. Yeah, I know about the after hour spot, how y'all was closing all up, how you was together with him all of a sudden, but how you wind up shooting him? Oh, he wind up just jumping on you all of a sudden. No, you wanted him to do something for you. He refused to do it, you jumped on him. We got it all. We got it all. See the problem with you, Erica? I'm doing this now, but you like to be seen, see? You like to be seen. You like to post all your business. You like to go live, right? You love going live. You love calling people FaceTime going live. Oh, I love it. I'm glad that you do love it because we got what we need. You're going to jail. You murdered him and you was jealous of Bree. He loved Bree. He loved her. He loved her. He wanted Bree. He loved her. He was going to marry her. He was going to be with her. You knew that. You knew it. You knew it. Oh, you were so mad. You were so mad. So mad. That's why you told her, yeah, now he dead. Now what? Now what? Now you ain't got him. Yeah. Oh, but you were so domestic. That don't sound like nobody going through no domestic violence to me. That don't sound like nobody going through no domestic violence for me. You murdered that boy. You set him up. You murdered him. And I don't care what nobody say. I don't care about none of your friends. I don't care about none of that mess. Like, oh, Erica, I'm praying for you. I feel so sorry for you. Uh, uh, pray for his mama. Pray for his children. Pray for them. Because he didn't kill him. She took his life. She murdered him, execution style, and left him in the street. Stole his car, dropped off her, her accomplice, and then come back like she coming off. You are a liar. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You killed him. You tried to play it off, but we got you, Gaboo. We got you, and you're going to jail. I'm sick of all of this stuff. Sitting up there writing all that stuff like you some Jonah Saint Angel or something. Oh, I'm a victim. Oh my God, somebody help me. Somebody help me. I'm such a victim. You love every bit of it. Every bit of it. And when he left you, you called him. And when he didn't want to be around him, you chased him. And when he didn't, when you couldn't see him, you saw him, you chased him in clubs and you ran up on him, hitting him all in his face, showing off in front of people. You did that. You murdered my nephew. You murdered him execution style in the street like he was a dog and you left him laying there. You're a liar, Erica Phillips. So you can save your little, oh, I, oh I, I'm to toxic relationships and everybody, well, you a girl, please, please stop calling my sister threatening her life. Don't call my sister and threaten her life again. Erica, you hear me? Leave my sister alone. She's grieving enough. Stop calling my family. We don't want to talk to you, murderer. We don't want to talk to you. You're a murderer. Stop calling our family. Leave my family alone. And you see how all that backfired? Even though he thought that was acceptable, which is wrong, that's how some people give it up. But this time, she flashed. And if what the honor saying is true, she'd be under the influence or be under some type of substance on a daily. You can only imagine how she was feeling at just 12.30 in the middle of the night while getting her hands put on her. Now, is she right? Is she wrong? I don't know. I leave that for the police. And if you guys want to comment about it in the comments. Now, it seems somebody also wrote a comment indicating that Erica uncle also took the life of a man. I reached out to the young lady. She didn't respond. I'm not sure if Erica kids is biologically by dirt. And if that's the case, you can only imagine what them kids going to be going through growing up. But a young man who was Derek's son has spoke up. Soon as we started a bond though, started picking me up and stuff. Sorry I didn't call you as much as you wanted me to. You was trying harder than me. Wish I wasn't so stubborn. But you are too. Who you think I get it from? Laughing emoji. I don't care what they say about you. I know what you was about. Sorry this happened to you. Long live the outlaw. Long live my pops, Derek Lindsay. Now was mentioned, Erica is not arrested. She was making posts on a fake account. This was the account. But I don't know if it's self-defense, how the police looking at this. And this is fresh, so it's more developed I keep you guys updated. But in all in all, if not many, I pray at least one person learn from this, man. It's not okay to be putting your hands on somebody. And it's definitely not okay for somebody to put their hands on you. If you need help, walk away, man. Find some help. It's okay. Because even if you accept that now, it could lead to a much deadly decision. Like the one we got today. A man who lost his life by somebody he slept with every day. It's a very unfortunate situation. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.